everyone! Welcome to the Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning, where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to boost your motivation and learn more by adding others to the mix. If you're learning a language all by yourself, then you should know that there's a way to boost your chance of success, boost your motivation, your progress. It's simply by including other people in your language learning journey. And in today's episode, you'll discover, one, how adding a human dynamic boosts your motivation, and two, how you can apply this tactic to your language learning. But first, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Making Movies Conversation Cheat Sheet. With this new cheat sheet, you'll learn words like actor, screenwriter, director, and much more. Download it for free on the inside. Second, the 400 Everyday Phrases for Beginners ebook. This bonus ebook will teach you over 400 words and phrases related to daily activities like waking up, making breakfast, going to work or school, and more. Third, can you talk about fishing in your target language? Learn how to say words like fishing rod, bait, and fishing net with this quick vocab bonus. Fourth, must know online shopping vocabulary. If you like shopping, then you'll want to be able to talk about it in your target language. With this one minute lesson, you'll learn must know words like sale, add to cart, and much more. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. How to boost your motivation and learn more by adding others to the mix. Part one, how adding a human dynamic boosts your motivation. So first, Here's a question for you. How do you think most people start learning a language? Leave a comment. Most people start learning by themselves. They'll either watch YouTube videos like this, download an app, or if they're a little more serious, buy a textbook. But after the first week or month, most self-learners also end up falling off because of a lack of motivation. It's pretty hard to motivate yourself and keep yourself going. It's hard because you have to, one, rely on yourself to motivate yourself, Two, do the learning, and three, do the practice. All of this is a lot of work for one person. Sure, there's a small group of super self-motivated people out there that can do it and stick with it, but that's not the case for most of us. So then, if you want to boost your motivation and not have to rely on yourself, that's where you should start getting other people involved in your language learning journey. Just picture a graph where on the y-axis you have motivation, and on the x-axis you have the chance of success. So first you have self-study, and that's probably closest to lower motivation and probably a low chance of succeeding. As you move further to the right where you start involving tutors or joining group classes, the higher your motivation and chance of success becomes. Does this mean motivation is lowest when you're on your own? Yes and no. There are people who are very motivated on their own, but motivation tends to come and go for many of us. And the last thing you want to do is rely on a feeling that may not always be there. But when you start including more personal connections, live interactions, maybe someone you speak with at a cafe, you have more reasons and more pressure to keep on going. For example, if you have a tutor that expects you to do homework and come prepared next time, if you have a language partner whom you want to impress, or if you're in a language class, you want to be better than other students. The point is, the more people you involve, the more anchor points and commitments you have to the language, and these boost your motivation. In psychology, this is called social facilitation, or the audience effect. When you're with other people, or when you think someone is watching you, you put a little pressure on yourself. And for many people, this can have a positive result. But if you're on your own, you wouldn't try so hard. So just to recap, a lot of us start learning on our own. And in the case of language learning, there will always be self-study involved. But if you want to take it to the next level, then you should follow that graph. The only issue is, the more you go up that graph, the more expensive it gets. It's very affordable to learn on your own. Once you start involving others, such as a teacher, it starts getting expensive. So it's up to you as the learner here. So if you're interested in adding a human dynamic, what can you do? Part two, how you can apply this to your language learning. 
one. Give our Premium Plus plan a try and get access to your own teacher. You also get weekly assignments from your teacher, which adds a nice layer of accountability to your learning. Two, enroll in an online class. And this is something we started offering for a few of our major languages, Japanese, English, Chinese, Italian, Korean, French, and Spanish. Three, get an online or in-person tutor. Now, teachers and classes can be pricey, but there are other ways to learn with others. Four, get a study buddy or join a learning community. Learning and competing with others will definitely have a positive impact on your motivation and language progress. Five, simply talk with others about your language goals and your current progress. When you're surrounded by people talking about how much they've learned or what goals they hit or missed, you'll be more inspired to hit your own goals. Six, track your progress and share it on your social media for others to see. For example, if you keep a daily planner, write in, I did three lessons today, or spent 30 minutes on learning a language, and share that. Once you start involving more people in your language journey, whether for learning or for practice, adding that extra human element will boost your productivity and motivation and help you reach your language goals. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to learn a new language in the new year. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye.